where does madness come from? Okay. And the madness, and, and again, all these questions I've bought in today because I really want to bring some profi- proficient answers to this. And in this case, we're talking about real madness, just so that way we can distinguish the difference between just someone who's a bit off, maybe even a little bit bipolar, to someone who is being rushed to the crazy house. And it clearly appears that they have no longer uh, any control over what is going on with them, their attitude, and even what they're saying and what they're seeing. That's the madness that I'm actually referring to. And where that comes from, is it actually comes from a process that I'm now saying is stripping, okay, to become stripped. And what this is in relation to is uh, I talked about recently about the birth of the microchip and how all of us have actually, well, not all of us, but many of us, well, actually probably all of us has actually been a part of not only the inception of the microchip into this reality, but also the, the growth of it, the, the exponential growth of what we use microchips for and how that's changed the reality in such a short period of time. And so when we look at, you know, just how fast something can change things, we find that the computer chip is and the microchip is actually one of the things that have made the reality speed up and go very fast. And I found that, you know, if you can say that there's other beings that are out there and that they have a vested interest in what's happening here on earth, some nefarious and some benevolent, I can definitely say that one of the desires, especially of the malevolent forms would just be to speed up the process or the growth of what happens in the incubator and in this reality. This is very similar to trying to make a kid think like an adult but at a young age or putting a kid into a stage or a child into a stage where they have no choice but to actually get to uh, this level of maturity but that's often premature in itself because they are not the age they didn't enjoy certain things that they needed to enjoy to build a good foundation to finally when they became a debt or adult to have the proper foundation to stand on and all this could happen if things are going too fast and if you look at the reality everything's about being fast how fast can you type how fast does the computer move how fast does this camera focus how fast does can you get to this amount of money so it's fast 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 and the unfortunate part about fast is a lot of mistakes get made and in certain tenses if you can think of it as a motor if a motor starts moving faster than it's actually calibrated to run then what happens is you start stripping the gears so so too with the chakras that the chakras are themselves wheels and oftentimes even with taking substances or experiencing certain aspects of the reality or being under extreme stress this actually begins to break down the machination if you may or the system that is how all of our cognitive functions are running like what space am I in what am I touching who is this that's next to me and what mad where madness comes from is when one has been doing things or things have been done to them that start to strip those cognitive functions by either speeding them up or slowing them down, or blocking them, or breaking them. And so there's different uh, things that could actually happen to a person's wills, but in the essence of madness, which is what we're talking about now, the wills have been broken. Something is not connecting. So oftentimes in that person's consciousness, they're seeing an entirely different space. So just like I told you that the configuration for this realm is 1295368, That's not the only configuration. There's other realms that work in different configurations. And let's say since that sequence equates to what we have going on here now, if we move the sequence around, we kind of get a different reality. There will be many things here that are that there that are similar to what goes on here, but there'll be some things there that just are not. And sometimes that could be into what you're visually seeing. Now, first of all, I just wanted to explain on the vision. I have a tutorial coming up that is for a a great game to play with kids. Uh, And it's basically how you can show children what is within the reality, mainly within nature, static objects like trees and things by showing them many of the different entities that are embedded within this photography, especially when you mirror it. And because of, and I forget the actual term, but the, the term is about how we always look for the eyes to everything because it becomes for us, and there's a specific term, maybe somebody can type it in here, but it's a term that when we see pictures or we look at things, we first want to find the eyes. And they they try to write that off as like just a condition of being human, but the truth is because we know the eyes are the gateways to the soul, we always try to find the eyes or the gateways to the soul. And the interesting thing about this reality, because we're only seeing half of it based on the eye that we're using, when we mirror many of the images together, of course we can see images within the image and I'll do a tutorial about this many already know about it but what I'm bringing up here is is that 
Sometimes that happens in a person's mind that is mad that or even on certain substances that that other half, if you may, if we talked a lot uh, these days about these two sides of the consciousness. But when they both start seeing at the same time, they put the image together. And then so what you're looking at is instead of just half of the reality, which is generally what you're seeing, you're seeing both parts of the reality. And so you're able to see what is really a, the fabric, what we call the fabric of reality, which is more of like a morphogenic blanket. It's where everything, whether it's going or coming, living or dead, can project itself through the fabric of the space that is around us if we are pairing up uh, uh, the parts of the reality that we're looking at. And this is actually what creates omniscience, meaning that in omniscience, what I'm capable of doing is using the fabric of reality to actually picture or see anything. This is also how remote viewing is. So it's basically instead of me even just seeing out into the reality that I'm looking at now, my mind can actually begin to change what I'm seeing based on whatever I want to peer into. And if I'm using the paired uh, aspect of my consciousness, meaning that I'm, both hemispheres of the brain are activated. Now I see a lot of things and this could get out of control and drive someone mad because obviously if you start just seeing whatever it is that you're thinking and then your mind is distorted or corrupt or missing a few links, then you only start seeing terrible things around you. And this leads to then the person talking to themselves and talking to things that you cannot see, but it feels like that they can see. And this is what happens when chakras are stripped and this is what is the onset of madness and this is also why many occultists especially in the past have always exclaimed that it was something that you had to be aware of especially when dealing with spirits because if other spirits that are larger than your form or actually are at a higher degree that's why degrees is uh, really the the measurement for intelligence knowledge is based on degrees doctor degrees etc and also temperature five degrees ten degrees etc that if something that you were connecting with has a non-compatible degree then what could happen is is that your your consciousness can be stripped so many of uh of the occultists in the past, especially those practicing the distorted knowledge, or at least thinking they were practicing the distorted knowledge, when the energy actually came upon them, it was too much for them. And then it kind of stripped their wills. And then now they're actually seeing from the perspective of more or less a consciousness that is broken, that is not actually functioning properly. So again, I'm giving longer answers because many of the, ans the questions that were asked actually center around this.